Welcome back everybody. In this video, I will be installing the speakers for the home theater. This is a 5.2.4 speaker setup, meaning five speakers for my base layer, which is the front left, center, right, and surround left and right. The dot two is for my two subwoofers, and the dot four is for the four Atmos overhead speakers. Starting out with the four Atmos speakers from Home Theater Direct, the six and a half inch aluminum cone woofer is mounted at an 18 degree angle with an anodized aluminum tweeter. The tweeter can pivot an additional 15 degrees. Both the woofer and tweeter have plus or minus three decibel switches which offer acoustical control to compensate for speaker positioning and room abnormalities. The speakers come with two grill choices. I chose the magnetic option which covers the entire speaker. After painting the surround edge black and the grills black, they are ready to be installed. The front two speakers are aimed towards the back wall, which will be where the row of seating will be and the two rear Atmo speakers are aimed towards the front wall with the tweeters moved to the best position towards the seats. After all four speakers were installed and lined up properly, I hand tightened them the rest of the way and installed the grills. This is how the AV rack comes apart to access the subwoofer cavity. The cavity provided a nice place to store the main speakers during construction up to this point. These are the Home Theater Direct Versa HTS-1 on-wall speakers. I picked these speakers because they fit almost perfectly flush into the 2x6 wall. They fit my budget and I've been happy with the HTD speakers that I've used in the past. I chose to use this speaker for all five positions for the bed layer so that they all matched in sound and aesthetics. These speakers feature two active 6.5 inch Kevlar cone drivers two passive six and a half inch woofers, and a one inch silk dome tweeter. They handle 150 watts, and the grill sock can be removed if you want to expose the speakers. The dimensions of these speakers is that they are 44 and a half inches high, 10 inches wide, and about 4.8 inches deep. These are the mounting brackets for both rear surround speakers. The bracket is a hanging bracket, which makes the speaker super easy to install and is the same for all five of these speakers. These are the two SVS PB1000 Pro subwoofers I'll be running in my theater, for now. Initially, I purchased two of the SVS PB1000 subwoofers, and within a few weeks, the Pro model was released, 
which offered a 12 inch woofer versus a 10 inch woofer, dual ports, and the SVS subwoofer DSP smartphone app for convenient tuning and control. I decided those features were worth the upgrade, so I listed my two PB1000s locally and eventually got them sold, all without losing too much money from my original purchase price. I immediately ordered the two Pro models and am super excited to see how these sound in this space. And a quick side note, if you can't find your power cord for these subwoofers, it is hidden under the top cardboard piece, as you can see here. These subwoofers come in a black ash finish, which is absolutely gorgeous. The 12 inch high excursion driver is coupled to a 325 plus watt RMS 820 plus watt peak sledge amplifier. These are probably not going to be my end game for subwoofers. I highly considered a DIY route, like Marty Cubes for example, but just didn't have the money during this initial build to invest that much at this time. I have my hopes up that these will suffice for the time being with all the great reviews they have since they've been released. And that's all for this video. Things are really starting to come together. Please like this video and comment below and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on the best that's still to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.